Greetings and good morning. It is you, the upstairs neighbor. I can hear you walking around. Hello. I don't know you at all, but oh boy, I can tell by the patterns of your footfalls that I sure do enjoy you. I sure do hope your life is a joyous one. I hope you own a dog who is a good, stupendous dog. I hope you keep nice plants, and I hope they bend to your silver water hands. I hope someone touches you like a forgiveness machine. Neighbor in your upstairs clothes. It would be easy for me to say that I care for you more than peanut butter, but I'm not trying to put the heart before the course. I've only known you these few and brief moments and what have I already revealed? Oh well, since we're over sharing, here's some more. I wish BMI stood for Bowel Movement Index, which you will find at the back of this book, which is my body, which is the primary injustice of an unjust existence. According to Julia Kristeva, it's supposed to make me feel terrible that stuff inside my body one moment is outside my body the next, that it too is my body, but all it makes me feel is everywhere. I want to shit and spit and weep until I'm all right there on the floor and nothing is left of me at all to finish telling you what I don't want to have to tell you. When the Lord made the angels, it was this way. <coughs> Vomit, excrement, ejaculate, milk, each took the shape of an idea, a terrible restlessness in the flesh, dashed themselves into each other like ships against quivering columns of moonlight, and well, that was angels. But we're talking about boundaries now. Borders and serration. Where my skin saws into the air is a boundary or border, but I can never quite cross into that empty country. Try it. How frustrating. All due respect to Julia, but I cannot agree. I mean, if I was my poop and pee and pre-cum, I would know everything, right? At least about the sewer system of the greater Los Angeles area, and as well, other sewer systems. I would have visions of neon alligators with blades of fluorescence for teeth, of rats as big as basketball courts lurking under my grief. The days would be filled with the singular moment in which I abandoned myself, mammoth body entering each particle of air like a fire made of little hallelujahs, little written out hallelujahs burning a hole in the ceiling so that I can see you, my upstairs neighbor, you of the boots that go clomping this way and that. I can see you reading a cookbook, preparing to bake a raspberry tart for a party I am not supposed to know about because I'm the stranger, because I am the angel of boundaries, the brazen and unfortunate beast who sleeps beneath your sleep. <laughs>